everybody can please find their seats and quiet down. We are ready to begin. Welcome to today's New York City Council hearing on general welfare. Please silence all cell phones and electronic devices. At no point should you approach the dais. If you need assistance, please contact one of these sergeant at arms. Chair, we're ready to begin. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's hearing. My name is Diana Ayala, and I am the deputy speaker of the New York City Council and the chair of the General Welfare Committee. Today, our committee will be voting on proposed intro 1080A, sponsored by Councilmember Lee. This bill will require, require the Department of Social Services to make information on emergency feeding programs, food benefits programs, and senior centers available on DSS's website, as well as through Access HRA. The information will be provided in a way that will allow users to search for an emergency feeding program, a location to apply for food benefits program, or a senior center by zip code hours of operation, and other relevant category. The bill would also require DSS in collaboration with the Department for the Aging to make written information on emergency feeding programs, food benefit uh, programs, and senior centers available at job centers, senior centers, SNAP centers, and other, any other relevant locations. I would like now to, uh, uh, Council Member Lee, would you like to make a, a statement on your bill? Okay, sure. So I'm now gonna pass it over to Council Member Lee. Oh no, okay. Thank you, Chair Ayala. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, and so many of us here, whether you, whether from our work before or at the City Council, have worked firsthand with any one of the 1.2 million food insecure New Yorkers. This 15% of our city is not just constituents, they are our neighbors, friends, and family. And as someone who used to run two senior centers and Meals on Wheels programs, I've seen how our seniors can become especially desperate. Without a doubt, we need more resources and food programs, but it's also an issue of clarity and accessibility of information. Our city is facing challenging and uncertain times, but New Yorkers should never have to worry about or be confused about where they, have, uh, where they can obtain their next meal. With this legislation, the City Council will be mandating the Department of Social Services to make information on nearby emergency feeding programs, food benefit programs, and senior centers accessible and searchable through its website and the Access HRA application. This format will allow folks to input their zip code, hours of operation, status as a senior center, a se se sorry, senior citizen, or any other relevant category. Thank you so much, Chair Ayala, for your leadership and counsel in all things, and thank you to my colleagues for all their support in this effort. Thank you, Councilmember Lee. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge my colleagues who are already here, Councilmember Caban, Lee, Ose, Ressler, Ung, and Williams. I would also like to thank the committee staff who worked to prepare this hearing and vote. Aminta Kilowan, Senior Legislative Counsel, David Romero, Legislative Counsel, Julia Haramis, Unit Head, and finally my staff, Elsie Encarnacion, Chief of Staff. I would now like to turn it over to the clerk to do the roll call for this vote. Good morning, William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on General Welfare and Proposed Introduction 1080A. Chair Ayala. Aye. Caban. Aye. Lee. Aye. Jose. Aye. Wrestler. Permission explained? Permission granted. <clears throat> I, every, like so often, I think about trying to create exactly this for our district. And it's challenging because the information's always changing and it puts a lot of onus on staff to be constantly updating exactly where people can go for different resources and services. But the city agencies that are funding these programs know exactly what's open, when, where, and why, and having that information readily accessible online is critically important for people to take advantage of it. So I support this wholeheartedly. I want to thank Councilmember Lee for her leadership and think it's a really great piece of legislation. Can you vote aye? <laughs> aye. aye. Sorry. Ung. Aye. Williams. I vote aye. With a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you, and with that, this vote and hearing is closed. There you go.